Hey, welcome back to the Kilowatts. This week, I wanna talk about something that's been all over the internet, and that's Tesla's full self-driving beta program and their full self-driving uh, package price hikes. So if you've not been living under a rock for the last week or so, you've probably seen at least one video of uh, this full self-driving beta software that Tesla rolled out to a small selection of customers. And it's incredibly impressive. We actually had the opportunity to go down to uh, San Jose, uh, meeting up with Tesla Owners Club Silicon Valley, John, to see how this all works. And it's, it really blew my mind. Uh, basically, they rolled out, you know, instead of their usual incremental, here's a feature here, here's a feature there, like they did when they rolled out Smart Summon or Navigate on Autopilot, Tesla basically now enables your car to drive on city streets, which is a really a complex thing. It can na navigate intersections, it can go around, you know, pedestrians, bikes. Um, it can really, you know, take on a much more complex environment, just, you know, all at once. And so while that's really impressive, this program is still very much a beta. It's really meant at this stage for people who are really actively monitoring their car, ready to take over, ready for it to be imperfect. And so it makes it really hard to make a decision about whether or not to buy the full self-driving package. You know, historically, as consumers, it's kind of been this promise. It's been a you know five, six, seven thousand, even now eight thousand dollar promise that Tesla will eventually deliver full self-driving. And it was uh, pretty arbitrary in the past, and it was often when they you know made a, a, a significant software update when there was one thing that kind of rolled out to its entire fleet. Elon would tweet and say, "Hey, there's a price hike coming." Well, those were all one thousand dollar price hikes. Now we're talking about a two thousand dollar price hike really bringing something that already is pretty expensive, $8,000, all the way up to $10,000. And so what I wanna share with you is my opinion on that and why I think that that actually still might be a fairly good price if you can you know, find the way to afford it. So just some context on myself and on this channel, um, we have both this like media side to our business as well as uh, we rent out a small fleet of Teslas here out of San Francisco as well as we've got two Teslas up in uh, Seattle. We're gonna be expanding in the next few months, maybe getting some other electric vehicles, getting some more Teslas. Um, but really, you know, all the Teslas, and what I love about the Teslas is that I'm providing like, you know, the best experience you could have in a vehicle. And that's what you get when you subscribe to the full self-driving. And so with the five cars that we have now, we've actually enrolled them all in the full self-driving uh, package, just being that we think that, you know, in the next several years, Tesla will probably achieve some degree of truly full self-driving. You might not be able to you know, have the car go deliver packages without anyone even in the vehicle, but you might still have you know, the ability to you know, sit in the driver's seat and never touch the wheel. You might have the ability eventually to sit in the back seat and only take over if the car comes to a complete stop. It's, it's really an interesting thing, the, the promise of, of you know, full self-driving. Uh, so I'm subscribed to that. I get all the you know, various updates and as a Turo host, I, uh, you know, can always offer the you know best most available thing but there's gonna be a lot of people where that eight thousand dollars is just too expensive quite frankly it is very expensive and it's going to ten thousand and honestly with the way that it could go it, you know this this could be the the start of what is a one hundred thousand dollar package that you know enables the car to drive itself and at that point i don't know why tesla would sell it without that package so there's a lot to really think about here but what i'm also want to introduce is that there's another way to take advantage of and really, you know, to, to acquire the uh, full self-driving package uh, future value at this time without investing $8,000 or $10,000. And so what we've done at the Kilowatts is we've reserved several, and I mean several, cyber trucks because if you were to reserve a, you know, a cyber truck, any of the specs for $100 now, the price is a commitment from Tesla to basically say you will probably be buying a cyber truck for you know, 39, 49, or 69 thousand dollars plus eight thousand dollars for the full self-driving package, and that's a great deal because in the next year, before Tesla is even producing the Cybertruck, you'll be able to basically see how the progress is going and, and, and make a decision then about whether or not you actually want the full self-driving package. And really, I think that's one of the best ways to do it. So. If you end up deciding that you don't want the full self-driving package, you don't want the Cybertruck, you can cancel your reservation, get your $100 back, kind of, you know, no skin off your back. You do, you know, there's an opportunity cost there, but it's the opportunity cost of $100 rather than the opportunity cost of eight or $10,000. So that's what we've done. I hope that helps you in your decision-making. Uh, there's only a couple hours left before Tesla hikes the price on that. 
uh, and it will probably ap uh, apply across the entire fleet. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, please go ahead and give this a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next one.